Get ready for this one. We have an inspirational heat dome that's headed for the Midwest. This is totally awesome, just totally awesome. If you're living here in the Midwest, right after this storm system gets out of here, bringing the cooler temperatures and the rain for today, we go through about one day, two day transition period, and then the heat dome starts to build. We have a mid level ridge at the 500 MB level, 591 decimeters headed, centering itself right over southern Illinois and southern Missouri for Saturday for this upcoming Shabbos, the first day of the Sukkot's holiday. Temperatures soaring well into the 80s for places like St. Louis, where the weather is very predictable, along with much of the Midwest. In fact, as you head further west, where there's less moisture, temperatures going into the 90s. High in Omaha, Nebraska, highs in the low 90s. They will be under a south wind, perhaps even a southwest wind. Places like in St. Louis and Chicago will not be under the warmest winds possible, will be under southeast winds, south winds, temperatures still making it well into the 80s. Mid-80s, says the European computer model for St. Louis. Chicago, Illinois, if you look at it, it has highs in the low 70s, but we will see high temperatures going into the low 80s here for the Chicago area. There is an easterly component to the wind, which might help bring those temperatures down, but this is really a blocking high. This is called an omega block, and this is something which is an ideal situation Situation to take place right over Sukkot. Ideal sleeping conditions for those of us that are sleeping outside. Uh, it's called basically a hut without rain protection. Uh, rain free for Friday night, Saturday night. Those are the nights. And then Saturday and Sunday, we're looking for high temperatures going well into the 80s. Widespread 80s across the Midwest. Even the South Central states, temperatures do get a little bit hot as you head into Texas with temperatures in the 90s. 80s during the day means temperatures in the 60s at night, perhaps upper 50s. Room temperatures, 59 to 86 degrees. Now, what's amazing is that there are going to be an enormous amount of cities here in the Midwest which are going to be at room temperature every single moment of the day for this entire 48 period. What a blessing this is to go through circuits like this. Now, in terms of the bugs, I don't know. Any city which has seen three consecutive nights of temperatures in the low 50s up until now has seen a complete die out of the mosquitoes, says meteorologist Tom Skilling. This blocking high here for an extended warm spell all the way into at least the mid part of next week. After the mid part of next week, there is what to talk about. It looks like there are many forecasters that are continuing to forecast above normal temperatures in general, which continue until the end of October. But not so, says meteorologist Ryan, and we'll get his last name later, where he shares with us uh, uh, information that others don't really seem to have. He does share with us the GFS model for whatever reason, which we'll be discussing the, what the conditions will be like October 8th, which does show really cold temperatures out west, making it here into the Midwest. So the question is like this. An omega block means that the cold air moves to the west coast. Cold air is also further east. I don't know if it's actually on the coast or if it's further out at the ocean. But that's where the jet stream makes its dip. And then the jet stream bubbles up over the Midwest in the middle. So it looks like the Greek letter Omega. Warm air here in the Midwest. It's a blocking weather pattern. So the warm air gets blocked. The cold air also gets blocked in. But eventually, forecasters say the cold air out west will make it into the Midwest. Now, all forecasters seem to agree by the end of October, a full month from now, or at least three weeks from now, the cold air will be making it into the Midwest. The question is, could it be that's going to happen about 10 days from now? That's the question. So there is the GFS computer model, which some say when it comes to longer term forecasts, that is more accurate than the European computer model. It does show the cold air out west, making it into Iowa and into the Great Lakes region at a time when there also will be precipitation so it even shows the first snowflakes of the season occurring at that time which would be towards the end towards the final days of Yontif along 
or perhaps a little bit after that, but that's for places in the upper Midwest. Other forecasts continue to show above normal temperature, says the National Weather Service, for the next 8 to 14 days. The Des Moines, Iowa National Weather Service has above normal temperatures for the next two weeks, and I believe it puts week number three as an equal chance for above normal or below normal. And remember, that's for the week, but there could be individual days which could get much cooler weather. So the high confidence forecast in this will cover Friday through Tuesday with warm conditions, warm and dry across the entire Midwest. Room temperatures expected 24-7 through that period with a couple exceptions. Temperatures going into the 90s in Omaha, Nebraska with a dry heat probably uh, for a little bit on Saturday. As again, that 591 decimeter uh, high pressure ridge makes its way into the southern Missouri, southern Illinois. It weakens a little bit after that, but it remains anchored over the region before the next system starts to make an arrival. And we'll see if that ridge is able to keep it out of our area. It's actually going to be this ridge which is going to push the current system out of our area because the current system got locked out of the jet stream. It's cut off from the jet stream, so it's having a very hard time moving out of here. And those types of things are difficult to forecast exactly when it will be out of here. So I wish everyone a wonderful week. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe for today. There is rain, periods of rain, especially during rush hour here in the Chicago area. Even thunderstorms, as we pointed out last night, the th thunderstorms actually already happened. Uh, so that f was accurate. And then again, during rush hour, but enjoy the really nice extended spell of warm weather that is to follow starting up on Friday. A few rain affect lake showers is possible Wednesday or Thursday for areas near the lake. Have a wonderful week.